my Christmas balls jingle Just like my boy Chris Kringle It's time to put those balls on the Christmas tree while singing Christmas songs From the South Pole to the North Pole, it's a Santa Live from pole to pole. Featuring the late night band Herbie's Hancock, Frosty, Rudy, and the rest of Santa's gang. Let's give it up for Santa Claus. Santa, what a draw duck day. Christmas lives forever, every day and night. Once again, you're a beacon to everyone, and I will light the way. Ah, the light cannot exist without the dark. I'm the dark, buddy, right here. Bring it on. Herbie, how was your weekend? It was dark, like a deep cavity. Fantastic. Moving on. The next guest on Santa Pole to Pole, Joe Davison from Stranger Things, episodes 458. I love Stranger Things. What a fantastic, uplifting show. In Stranger Things, you get killed by a demon dog. Does that kind of writing keep you up at night? Uh, I enjoy dying on screen. I'll die in everything if I have to, as long as I can keep working. I'll die right now. You want want me to die? 50 bucks. I'm dead. Who set this up? Is my agent under the desk right now? I would just like the audience to imagine that there's someone on their knees underneath your desk, Kringle. (laughs) Frosty, stop interrupting Santa during his interviews. So now it's time for our second guest. Hold it. I still don't understand this whole freaking show. It's part of the magic of Christmas. Yes, Santa is the light of the world, a savior in our time of need. He is the one that unites us all. We've got a very special guest. Hey, Gringo, what are you doing Valentine's Day? Nothing. Ah, what about St. Patty's Day? Nothing. Arbor Day. I'm going to sit in a chair with my pants off and read the mail. By the way, I got a new book coming out. You guys need to buy it. You may know her as the host of Up All Night or from being scantily clad in several magazines. Let's welcome Rhonda Shear. So, Rhonda, tell us what it's like being a woman. I know I'm a woman because, well, I just know. I have all the parts. I have indoor plumbing. What are some of your favorite foods? Oak trees. I like weeping willows. I like pecan trees, which is a tree and a nut, so that really floats my boat. When you are having an intimate moment in the boudoir, what are some of the words that you say? Gingerbread, flour, and sugar, almond flour, and then I would have icing on it. Yes, this show is sponsored by Mucinex and Viagra. Don't get snotty, get naughty. Brought to you by a Mucinex and a Viagra. Two of them together, man, you got a night to go. Rhonda, this has been excellent. Is there anything else you'd like to add to this conversation? We went to a furniture store, and then somehow we opened a door, and we were on Mars. And it was like the weirdest thing. But I mean, and I'm not, it wasn't like a dream sound. It was like we were really on Mars, and we really just went in there to buy a couch. You did the Blair Witch Project, correct? No. <laughs> See, I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> you know what's scary? The fact that Kringle has a talk show, and I'm a secondary character. The scene with the man in the corner. What was he doing there? Was he making pee-pee? Can I make pee-pee here? Ha! You can eat my yellow snow. And in the corner I stand and look at the wall as I relieve myself of all dignity and of course my bladder. If you were on Bumble and you saw the Blair Witch, would you take her out on a date? Would you swipe right or left or whichever way the kids swipe to go on a date? Because I saw in the movie that there was some snot involved. Hey, why don't you guys ask me what I'm doing? Frosty, what are you doing? Ah, nothing. Shut your pie hole, fat boy. <laughs> the storm clouds fly tattered and swift. Come over the hills and far away with me. Hey, Emo Phillips, shut your gaping mouth hole. You have the interviewing skills of a lamppost. How, how, how. Ho, 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 ho. How, how, how. Wow, there's a lot of hoes in this show. I don't even know what world I'm in right now. There's only one correct answer to that. Yeah, I got your answer. The answer is you're fat and you're dumb. <laughs> Our next guest is Al Sapienza. He's died over 267 times in film and television. It's very impressive what he's done. Don't die here, please. You forgot, I also died five times on stage when I tried to do stand-up comedy. I was hot tubbing with your agent earlier, and he was telling me some of the things you've died in. I died in The Sopranos. 
I died in Sacrifice, which is on BET Plus right now. I died in uh, in suits. Nobody dies in suits. You know, they're all lawyers. I like to die in a sewer drain. Al, if you and I were to do a movie together, how would I die? I think it would be a a, uh, a religious extremist beheading. Did you really mean that, or were you just trying to be funny? That's kind of mean, Al. That's going to get you on the naughty list, Al. Al, I've got a series of questions. Stones or Beatles? Beatles. Mouse or ribeye steak? Mouse. Waffle House or Wiffle Ball? Jennifer Aniston. What's your favorite condiment? You'll put it on anything. Preparation H, always. That's our show. Thank you, everyone, for being here in the studio and at home. The show is over, kind of like Kevin Spacey's career. I'm glad it's over. Can we try not to do this again? I mean, put forth the little effort. Stay in bed. My Christmas balls jingle, just like my boy Chris Kringle. It's time to put those balls on the Christmas tree while singing Christmas songs. Oh yeah, your Christmas balls. Jingle balls, jingle balls, jingle balls.